Okay, my name is Mike Vaughn uh, from the pop culture. Uh, uh, sorry, the pop culture corner, and um, yeah, I'm so excited because uh, we are talking hysteria, and this was awesome. Um, I have to say that cold open was just kind of everything. Um, I'd love to know like what some of the influences uh, for the show, um, like any like particular movies, um, like kind of informed the the look and style. I I, I want to get to that, but first I I have to ask: Are you wearing a Cornholio morph shirt? Yep, <laughs> Cassholio. Okay, yes. uh, awesome. Um, uh, in terms of the the influences, uh, they are there are so many. There, I mean, too many to count even. But some of the bigger ones, you know, obviously in the the cold open, you probably see some resemblance to scream you know that kind of uh home invasion that kind of chase sequence and and all of that um but also as we get further in we want it to feel like all sorts of different pieces of of horror not just 80s horror but every every decade we want you to feel something from that so you know we do have some evil dead stuff in there um we do have some uh you know uh, demonic stuff we have a, a lot of um creepy new kind of scares in in the back half of the season but we you know i i love kind of every every subgenre of horror horror has influenced me but on top of that in this show john hughes the coen brothers all of those things were every bit as influential on on how i saw the story thanks um yeah so this uh deals with satanic panic so Question for um, both y'all is, uh, have you ever had uh, in your personal lives um, this sort of panic in your towns or like, had that ever like affected y'all? Matt has a really good story about that. So I'll just start off with <laughs> well, that. <laughs> so so uh, when I was like nine or 10 years old, I was taking my first concert, which was Kiss with Skid Row, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, Kiss was awesome. They did their thing. They're breathing fire. They're spitting blood. They look like comic book superheroes up on stage. It's like every 10 year old boy's dream that that show. So uh, yeah, I go to the concert with my dad. We he buys me a shirt on the way out. And then the next day at school, I'm wearing my Kiss shirt thinking I'm going to be the talk of the town. Uh, and I walk up to my uh, first class of the day and the teacher stopped me from coming in. And I asked her why. And she said, because that stands for Knights and Satan service. <laughs> and I will not allow that in my classroom. So I learned at a very early age uh, that the satanic panic did not die in the 80s. It lived on through the 90s. It lived on in the 2000s. And it's still here right now. Um, yeah, there's a scene that was so eerily similar Um it's a scene where they're talking about like uh, the Smurfs are demonic and stuff like that. Yeah. And like our small town church had a list of like why the Care Bears were satanic yep. and stuff. It, like, yep. It was crazy. And even as a kid, I'm like, no, that, that doesn't, that's not right. <laughs> that's, great. that's great. That's how they get you, though. That's, yeah. That's how they get you. Well, yeah. That's how they pulled me in. <laughs> um now I, I would i would love to know because this this show is scary funny but there are some really great character moments was that tricky to kind of get that balance just right uh go no, ahead David. That's, that that's you know part of the part of the thing that i was attracted to uh when i got to read matt's pilot script and that's when i joined the show um was that matt had walk that tightrope of creating these characters where something weird is going on here, uh, but you still believe that all these people are real people. And that always is what the discussion was when we were figuring out the season, figuring out each episode, figuring out each of those scenes is uh, what is going on with each character and making sure that we were being true to those characters. And then you have this enormously talented group of actors who are bringing these characters to life, and they're also keeping those characters real. Uh, it's an ongoing process, but it's 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 part of the fun of making something like this is making sure that 
you're getting everything out of it that you want. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's amazing. Um, so I have uh, like maybe time for one real quick question, but what's the uh, takeaway that y'all would like um, audiences to, you know, come away f uh, with, after, you know, after seeing the show? Um, that's a great question. I would say uh, kids try to imagine what it feels like to be an, a parent. Parents try to remember what it felt like to be a kid. Yeah, um, that's great. Um, well, I appreciate y'all talking to me. Uh, this was so cool. Um, I love the series. And um, for everyone watching on the channel, I will link in the description where y'all can check it out. But Thank you guys so much. Uh, it was such a blast. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Mike. Right, Appreciate thank it. Sure. Yeah. Later.